Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Val3 Tarot. She's read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. That's all I got to say is wow. This is, um, wow. Just wow. I'm curious on this. Like, how is this going to work? Um, Jumping into this, what they are showing me, they know they know they have to make a decision and they're refusing to. At the same time, there is some sort of closure of a cycle here taking place as well as them with a follow-up of, okay, I need to take some time to myself and really rest and recover. Um, here's what's interesting. They're taking the time to rest and recover. And then when they kind of like, let's just say when they wake up and they continue on, well... They're in a much more extreme energy with that devil energy. They're kind of like, okay, I've kind of taken enough time for myself, time to kind of double down energetically on this and really focus on this. I don't know what this is about or for, but I do see they have this mindset and perspective of wanting to move forward, wanting to move on, wanting to just continue moving. Now, things in their situation, fascinatingly enough, is beginning to straighten itself out. Whatever this is... Um, they're also saying, again, they need to kind of acknowledge themselves. There's an energy of checking in, acknowledging their emotions and their thoughts, figuring out where they're truly at, what they truly want to do, where they want to go. And that being said, there also is some type of commitment or possible relationship or marriage here in place. I don't know what's going on, but let's jump into clarifiers and see what we can kind of find. Because whatever this is, um, I'm curious. It's, I'm always curious to see what happens when you put off certain decisions that you know you got to make. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that's a uh, wow, 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 wow. Um, how do I even say this, Gemini? They them, how do I say this? They themselves are, they them, I don't even know how to word this. I'm almost like, even I'm not comprehending. It's the equivalent of they know they personally need to make a decision about the situation and the circumstances, but it almost feels like they're expecting you to do it for them. Like they're expecting you to step up and take care of it for them. Like what? It's like you, you yourself, you know, you got to do it. And they're like, mm, maybe Gemini will do it for me. What is that? Someone's pulling strings. Someone is pulling strings. Get this, Gemini. Not only is there some sort of cycle or closure taking place, they're showing me they don't want to control themselves. They don't want to exercise that self-discipline. I don't know if this is about 
themselves literally in general, or if this is something more so on the energy of, let's just say, certain energies. I don't know. Wow, and it just it just continues. It just continues. The, it's like the fight just continues. I can feel this. I can feel it. They are not letting this go. They are not letting this go. And that's probably why the devil energy is showing up. You're free to do what you will, but... Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, it almost feels as if they're trying to... How do I say this? They, them, they them since interesting. Um, that's fascinating. It's a contradiction. They're showing me a contradiction. I mean, it's possible and it can be done, but it's contradicting. They're showing me this energy of... They're trying to be fair and neutral and kind of see all the sides to this thing, but they themselves are forcing this. They're forcing it, it feels like. It's like if you're obsessing, then you're not being fair and neutral. You're obsessing, but yet you're expecting to get from there to there. I don't understand that. Okay. They're like, okay, I need to understand this so that I can focus on my plans for the future. Because they're they're kind of like, I just want to move on. I just want to move on. Ooh. Wow. Well, they're definitely gaining perspective. I'm not too sure exactly how they're utilizing it, but I feel like they are somehow. Yeah, something, something is being cleared up right here. Something's being cleared up and they're kind of taking a step back. I don't know what that's about. Um, but again, it's an energy of assessment. I feel like there could be multiple people here. Yeah, yeah, there's multiple people here. I do get a parental figure, possibly a father figure. Um, yeah, they got questions, goodness. Um, they got a lot to handle and take care of. That's for sure, Gemini. They're showing me that everything in their life is beginning to kind of straighten itself out. And because of that, it's fascinating is that they're, they're definitely deep in thought and deep in contemplation when it comes to their decisions that they make for themselves in their life. Very, they take this very seriously. Um, so not only do they, not only do they do the work on themselves, they do the work for the situation and everyone involved. I'm not too sure exactly what that means because I do see it's an energy of almost just knowing and awareness. They just want to know. They just want to kind of figure things out. But then when it comes to the relationship or the marriage, they don't know where things are headed with the future. They don't know. They still don't know. And that's exactly that double energy I was talking about. It's like, you can't force it. You can't force it. You can't, you can't force it. Um, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Gemini, what do you have showing up? Goodness. Leo, Capricorn, Heavy Pisces, Virgo, Aries, and Libra. Goodbye.